Each month, I have the privilege of debriefing some of the world's top remote viewers as they look into the future for our World Events sessions. I get to speak with Daz Smith, Edward Reardon, Dick Allgaier, and now Hatomi, who has come into the public eye on our team, and dissect their data as we try to determine what's going to happen in the months ahead. Right now, more than ever, I think we're all looking, trying to understand the future and what's coming with the coronavirus, with the shift, the coming shift in the economy, uh, some of the other crazy stuff that we've seen as well that I can't discuss here on YouTube. Um, but it's been a lot of fun. I've been getting training from Daz Smith uh, in the remote viewing process and controlled remote viewing. I'm currently working on my stage three sketches, and it's been a lot of fun. And uh, I got to go ahead from corporate to release my world events predictions um, here on YouTube for all of you to see as well. And we're going to share this on the um, crypto viewing website as well on the private site. Um, but again, I, I don't share this with the team because I'm a rookie and my data doesn't hold the same flavor or value. Um, and, and I think it's important as I'm learning to not be afraid of failure and of being wrong. In my own experience, in my own intuitive journeys, uh, when I got rid of that fear of are my impressions wrong, then I had the opportunity to recognize that was imagination, that was something real. Uh, so I'm going to share this, you know, some, some of my data with all of you out there so you can kind of see my process and hopefully watch me progress. Hopefully I get better as we go through this. Um, and also to get your thoughts, I mean, because I, I'm not always wrong. So maybe we'll get something and, uh, you know, and, and we can we can work through it here. Um, but, you know, in, in the beginning of this session here, you know, my stage one data, I really wasn't feeling connected to the signal line yet. I was just going through my ideograms and just trying to get a, a, a sense of um, what it was that I was seeing. Once I started getting into my stage two data, that's usually when normally when I connect with the target anyway. And I start getting ideas of little sketches to draw um, on my page two. I started getting some kind of a structure, and the words I had was impe impeding, foreboding, strong, confident. Uh, and then I had a like an S2.5, but it will fail. And I had an AOL of an Osprey. It's uh, I'll show the picture of it here um, that I tried to sketch of it. It's horrible, but it's, it's a military aircraft. And I wrote airborne, aerial, aloft, floating, flying, propelling. Not sure what that's going to mean here. Um, looking at another structure on my next ideogram there, uh, hardened, downward, impeding, impediment. Um, so again, is, is this a structure? Is there something moving downward, impeding, somehow slowing things down, restricting it? Uh, on page four, I think, is when I really started to, to connect with things. Um, my AOLs were piercing aircraft. I had the word demons. And again, could just be noise in my head. But then I drew this sketch here, and this sketch could be an explosion. I'm, I'm not sure what the sketch is at this point, but I had uh, beating, pulsing, rhythm, rhythmic, and I had music. Uh, and, and then I really started on my, when I got to my stage two, um, this is when I really started connecting, I, I think, with getting more information coming my way. I noticed some of my sketches and some of my data corroborated with what the other viewers on the team were getting. But mine was maybe just a sketch and no description where the viewers on the team would have this more elaborate sketch and an explanation of what it was. Me, I, I really didn't get that much detail on it. But um, one of the things that's interesting, I, I did get this sense of um, motion or movement. And I felt that it was possibly water-based. And I had a couple scenes in my head. Um, you know, it wasn't like this crystal clear movie, but what I was seeing was a bunch of shapes that I thought in my mind, maybe they could be tiny ships or tiny craft. They were all in a row, and it's as if they were trying to go forward or get away or something, and the water was just pulling out from under them. My conscious mind interprets that like it almost looked like a tsunami, like the water was all going out. Um, and then I, I, I drew it, and I wrote, is this a craft in the water? Um so I was getting these water feels. So I elaborated on that on my first stage three sketch on page six. And this is a terrible drawing. But in my mind, what I saw again was some kind of craft coming up over the top of a crest of a wave. Um, I said, it looks like an object ascending over a wave-like structure. Lots of energetics. And again, it was the movement in opposite directions. And I felt I really felt this was some kind of water event, like a tsunami or a flooding or something. 
uh, and I got heavy, dense, solid, cold, um, sudsy, parting. And I had an AOL of the sun, and then I thought, well, maybe that could be a coronavirus sketch too, because that's popular news, right? And I drew the, just this black. I don't, I don't know, I don't know what it was. This, this little sphere with all these tiny hairs coming out of it. But then I did get an AOL that felt like signal line um, of parting the Red Sea, and I wrote down meteor impact. So I, I don't know, is something going to strike the ocean and cause this flooding or a tsunami or craft? Is it going to be a meteor impact? I, I don't know. Uh, and on the next page, I expanded on that explosion piece that I had there. And uh, as you can see here, as I'm sketching this out and as I'm probing, I got this idea for another image that I think is related to that. So in the, in the center of this, this whatever this thing is, uh, aggressive, residual, cleared, cut, depression, impression. And then I wrote the question, was this an impact? Uh, I wrote down massive, I can't remember my handwriting, um, seen from space. Now, I did get a momentary glimpse, and I wonder if this ties into my parting of the Red Sea data, of like something coming down and pushing land out to the sides, like an impact, and then boom, the land parts out to the sides. Um, I had an AOL of lava, uh, and uh, let's see, gooey, slow, and sludgy was what was expanding around it. But then underneath, I drew this craft and this craft felt like it was moving and there was debris or force or energetics from the front of it moving around it as you can see in the sketch here and i got a quick glimpse of the earth with a pyramid type structure on it um and i thought maybe this impact was somehow related to that i'm not sure i know what i did find interesting was that i saw something similar to this several times when we did the Hammurabi sessions, my data wasn't released um, in the full documentary, but uh, I did work that target. That was an intense target for me with some of the things that I was seeing. And, and I did another sketch here, and this is, this got really interesting. Um, I, it, what I saw was like this structure that was possibly had like a concave area at the top of it, almost like a volcano shape. And when I probed that a little more, I got... Uh, just a ton of spheres encircling it. And usually when I see a bunch of circles like that, it's life forms, it's people. And it felt like a, a gathering. And I wrote, could this be a, a mass of people gathering? Are they huddling around something? Um, they were, I, I saw this is this crater, an opening. Is it an idea? Focused on an idea, fluid, rash movement, upward, flowing. And I, my next thing that I saw connected to this the sketch, it, it looks like it's going sideways because I'm a terrible sketcher. But it, in in my mind, it was they were ascending up like a hill. Almost, it it, it seemed like a roadway of of movement of people going up a hill. I wrote a sea of people, a mass exodus, a long road ahead, uh, star shapes spreading out, radiating outward within the crowd is what I felt. And I had a feeling of an arena, life forms flooding an arena. Um, flooding in and filling space. Lots of people cheering, rejoicing, energetics. Now, I don't know if this was cheering in excitement or cheering in like a panic. I, I, I couldn't tell the difference. Um, this scene is going uphill. And then I saw like a downward motion. And then I got a quick glimpse of what I interpreted as the earth. It was a spherical object. And I saw these what look like impacts these lines coming down and they look like they were impacting it and I, in my mind i'm thinking are these um meteor strikes are these bombs that are hitting it what what's hitting the planet they could be radiation based on some of the data i'm seeing from the rest of the team but then i, I probed the center of this of this uh drawing that i did here and it said essential splitting flowing of many channels now that could be energy that could be lava that could be some kind of flood that could be any number of things um, so it's open to interpretation. I wanted to share my sessions. It's a short session. I cut it short because I felt I was getting kind of just really weird and out there. And, and uh, I probably should have kept going with it. But um, world events, I, I find, are a little bit less structured for me right now. I enjoy the challenge, um, you know, but it's, it's a little bit different than working an assigned target and going through all the steps. But 
uh, I'm learning, I'm enjoying it, and uh, it, it's been a lot of fun. So I'd love to hear your feedback. Am I way off? Did I miss it? Or is, is there something out there that's happened or that's happening? And did I accurately predict the future? That'd be pretty cool. Um, so again, uh, reach out to me, comment below, let me know what you think. And uh, I'm going to steal the phrase of Edward Reardon because it's such an awesome phrase, but uh, he always has many more to come and I will have many more of these to come. So I'm going to snap you the second with the uh, crypto viewing team and with Sixth Sense Media reminding you to let your intuition be your guide. Thank you.